Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Star Lord, and today we're going to be talking about some Fortnite character customization uh, concept arts that have been pretty much the talk of the community over the last 24 hours. And this concept art is absolutely amazing. I think it's a great idea and I am always very interested about your guys' opinion. So don't forget to leave a comment if you are for or against this. If you're for, please tell me why. And if you're against, again, please tell me why. Not everybody will have the same opinion. Uh, but anyway, before we do get into the video guys, don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and also gameplay videos, glitches, guides, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but anyway, let's get into the actual video itself. So, one thing that we all love about Fortnite right now is that the character customization is pretty amazing considering that you can get a bunch of cool looking skins for your characters. You know, the latest ones is the pink teddy bear and also the uh, Cupid kind of gargoyle looking one and they look amazing. But, one Reddit user by the name of SBM8 Three, two, I actually came up with a little bit of a concept design of what if you could actually customize the colors of these skins. So instead of having like the pink teddy bear, how about having a light blue one or something? Or instead of having a stone looking gargoyle, how about having one that looks like brick instead, you know? There's a lot of customization features that have yet to be introduced into Fortnite. And I believe this is only the beginning of all of this kind of stuff. I feel like Epic are definitely going to go all out on this and allow this kind of stuff. I genuinely see this happening. Um, but anyway, like I said, uh, the Reddit user SBM832 actually posted this on Reddit around about 9 or 10 hours ago. And as you can see on screen right now, it has the Raptor costume, but instead of it being yellowy, marmy, like mustardy looking, it's actually got a blue accent color to it. Or a red one, sorry. What the fuck am I talking about? It's it's got a it's got a red accent color. And uh, also instead of the top being like a brownie color it's gray it looks pretty sick in my opinion this looks absolutely amazing very cool indeed um and as you can see um on the left hand side there is one little kind of detail here that i do not like is that he has actually proposed that when you character customize your own skins you have to pay v bucks for them and that's something that personally for me i will not fly with i mean you know i spent around about 20 dollars on a customizable character. Um, I paid for the, the pink teddy bear, you know? And that was $20, and that's a lot of money considering that it's just for one little suit in a game. Like, to be honest, when they bring out the next line of suits, I'm probably gonna buy another $20 one. And I don't mind supporting the devs, but when it comes to customizing things, uh, such as the skins you've already paid for, I say, no, no, that's definitely not how it should be. Um, but as you can see, this dude has a really awesome kind of, um, he has a cool little design here where, you know, you can customize the skin tone of your character. You can also customize one and two accents of him. Also the torso, the legs, and the feet. So pretty much this is this is pretty much fully customizable in in a long uh, in a, in a good in a good bit, I guess. I I don't know. I don't see how you could customize this anymore other than like replacing the shovel on his backpack, but that would just be insane. Um, but this is a really good concept design, uh, to be honest. And I really feel like Epic will look at this and they will say, you know what? There is a market for this. We will most likely add this in a little bit later down the line, uh, once we've actually introduced more skins. But um, I thought, you know what? Uh, people paying V-Bucks to customize skins they've already bought is very, very out of order, to be honest. And I decided to go down in the Reddit com uh, comments and actually see if people agree with me on that. And uh, one user named uh, VampireMK2 said, If customizing the color was free or colors could be earned through challenges, it would make the high cost of skins a little bit more justified. And then another uh, Reddit user by the name of Dil Laflash replied to him saying, Earning customization through challenges would be a fantastic addition. They could be something like get 10 kills in a game while wearing the skin to unlock the red version or get 200 sniper kills while wearing the skin to unlock the goggles. Personally, I'm loving those ideas and I honestly feel like they are definitely something that should be introduced into customizing your character. I would absolutely love these ideas being implemented into Fortnite within the next couple of months. Um, just looking at the Raptor skin, how cool it looks. 
I, I love it. I think it's absolutely perfect. But there is a couple of uh, cons coming with these, I guess. And uh, cons basically means like bad points. Um, and one bad point I personally think would be is that the character would, uh, you could actually customize the character to blend into um, backgrounds a lot easier. And that would make for a lot of easier camping additions. Um, like just today, I was scrolling through the Reddit and somebody was joking around with the new Cupid costume saying, um, you know, camping in rocky areas is much easier right now. And honestly, he blended in so well into the background that I, I thought, you know what, if I walked past there, I would not see that guy and he would kill me in a second. Which is, you know, it's strategic. It's okay. Camping is more strategic in this game, I think. And um, I don't know, there is a lot of pros and cons towards this character customization concept. If you have any that you can think of on the top of your head, please leave a comment down below. I'd actually love to hear about them. But um, yeah, very interesting stuff to talk about. I hope that a lot of you guys will engage in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, please feel free if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, guys, for more videos like this. I'll be doing a lot more videos uh, talking about people's concepts and different things that they can add to Fortnite and also just some gameplay and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so anyway, thank you very much for watching today's video about character customization uh, concept being added into Fortnite. If you are for or against, you know, leave it in the comment section below. And just have a very awesome week. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.